Number five, a common laboratory system to study Boyle's law uses gases trapped in a syringe. The pressure in the system is changed by adding or removing identical weights on the plunger, the part of the syringe that you actually push down. The original gas volume is 50.0 milliliters when two weights are present, right? When there are two weights on it, the volume of that gas is 50.0 milliliters. Predict the new gas volume when four more weights are added, right? So in addition to the two we had at first, we have four more. So uh, the question says, predict the new gas volume. So that means that we are solving for V2. So I'm going to take my Boyle's law. P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. I'm going to rearrange it to solve for V2. Now, some students may be confused about what the initial pressure is uh, because it's not, we don't have an atmosphere value, we don't have a tor value, we don't have a kilopascals value or a millimeters of mercury value. All we have are these weights. But that's fine because it's a relative amount of pressure, right? And so my, my P1 is actually two for two weights. My initial volume is the 50 milliliters, and my second pressure, my final pressure, is 6, right? Because when I added four weights to the original two weights, now I have a total of six weights. Calculate. Calculate is going to tell you six, uh, 16.66666, on and on and on. But I want to use three significant figures here, 50.0, three significant figures. So I'm going to round to this six right here. The seven right behind it tells me to round up for 16.7 milliliters.